Hi guys, it's Nikki and Watson, and we are here because it is sort of Stitch Fix Day. <laughs> He's already bored. We all have cabin fever, like I mentioned. So um, again, I am Nikki, and I do um, Stitch Fix unboxings and try-ons and if you have not watched me before just a quick history I've done these for a while I was actually a stylist at Stitch Fix um, and just recently had to leave the company um, again love the company think it's fantastic and now um, I had filmed the video for my last style that I had styled for myself at Stitch Fix the audio did not work for that entire time so um, the audio did not work so I actually have had to send back the things I'm returning already so what I'm going to do today is I'll try on the things that I kept again to do a quick try on but then I will show you over here I believe um, the items that I tried on before because I do have a video of me trying them on you will just see that you cannot hear what I am saying so anyway I'll show you those two things um, so I'll go ahead and do that now and then I'll do a try on with the rest of the items and then I will go ahead and do a quick wrap up and summary at the end we just don't actually have the box here to open so I'll talk about each of the items ahead of time so I've got my referral link below so you can go ahead and use that if you want to try the service for free um, again it will cost you nothing for the first month basically you can go ahead and look at the information included in my link below also if you have not already done so please subscribe um, and we'll jump right in so okay okay so the first thing that I was trying on here is by Rev um, and it's <clears throat> excuse me the Sonoli camel printed cotton blend cardigan in gray I have it in a size small and it is $74 so um, again you can kind of see me trying it on here um, I don't completely love the length of it even though I just tried on gosh, I don't know if it was my last fix or the one before that long duster cardigan and I really like that one but this one it's just um, there's just something about the shape of it and it kind of has that kind of uh, rounded front <clears throat> again I don't think with someone at my sort of shorter stature um, that it's the best fit for me so all around I just didn't love the fit of this but anyway um, if you are a taller person I think this might work really well for you or just someone I guess that has a little different body shape than mine because I just didn't love how it fit and for that price um, I didn't think it was worth it so on to next Okay, so this next item is the Layla Jade Dorsey Front Drape Ribbed Knit Top. It's in dark gray, size small, $54. So um, you can see, first of all, I think it is a little big on me. Um, it is a size small, and I do kind of go back and forth between a small, extra small, um, just based on sizing. And so this particular one, um, I think was a little loose on me to begin with however as you can see there actually is that extra liner inside of it and it's like a full tank top so you can kind of see that so I think the quality of the top is really nice um, <clears throat> what you can probably see me talking about on here is just that the front of the sweater and how it kind of hangs down like this um, it just that's not the most flattering look on me and maybe it looks fine you know for those on camera but I just know I'm not gonna walk into my closet and grab that item I'm it's just not something I'm gonna wear and there were also a couple of like white things in the front I don't I don't know if you guys can see here again where I'm gonna hopefully be showing this um, I'm kind of pointing out there's just a couple of like white pieces so there's almost like some flaws in it as well so anyway um, that is the Layla J top like I said and I do think that it, it is worth it um, uh, hopefully there if you know that was just one that had a quality issue I think that having that full lining inside is pretty nice and so anyway that's that top and now I will actually <clears throat> Now I will actually do a, a try-on of the last three items that were in the fix. So see you soon. Oh 
Okay, okay, so um, this is actually, sorry, everything's a little bit out of order here now. So this is um, by RD Style and it's a dolman top. So I typically do not love dolman tops and it is for this reason, this bat wing reason. However, I will say that I do for some reason like it on this one. Um, I also typically do not like marling. So if you can see here, actually it's sunny out even though it's a blizzard yep that's right here in minnesota um so anyway this is like this kind of like um, marbled effect you know with the darker flux on the blush color material and i typically do not like that either but for some reason i like this shirt so um again it has these tighter arms here and it is heavier i think than most dolmen so this is kind of almost like a light sweater so this is what it looks like. Um, like I said, just kind of that normal dolman fit, very comfortable. I don't know, I really like it. <clears throat> I really like it because it has a little bit of color. So this is the shirt and obviously I decided to keep it and um, I don't know, what's your feedback on it? I really like it. I don't know if this blush color is the best on me. I think I've said that previously, but it's color that I like and it, happens to match very well with black and gray so I'm gonna go and try on oh I have a pair of jeans that I need to try on and I will tell you what those are when I come out and then I have a jacket surprisingly Let's see. okay so again this is not news to me since I decided to keep these but these are by STS blue they're the scissor hem skinny jeans so as you can see um, maybe you can't these are again just a little tiny bit longer than I like but for some reason um, typically again I'm gonna wear these jeans very often it's gonna be spring and summer so there are occasions where I will wear a closed toe booty like I do with these right now um, but right now with like I don't know what is it maybe 14 inches of snow outside right now there's not a lot of times where I'm actually going to be walking around in these boots. So the fact is, three cardigans, two pairs of leggings, a pair of tall boots. That's all I need for the entire winter here in Minnesota. We've gotten very far off tangent. So um, anyway, these are the jeans that I got. So you can see what they look like. They are basically very comfortable. I really like this brand. Yes, I do not love the rip in the knee I would like just a little bit of distressing or if you're gonna have this have it lower or higher because it's obviously going to continue to rip out but besides that um, I do I do love the fit of these pants they're comfortable they've got the stretch um, they do tend to stretch out a little bit over the day but not as much as other pairs I have so at any rate I will come back I have one last thing Okay, it feels so weird coming out here and doing this again because really I do typically see the item at the same time you guys do. So obviously here is this jacket and this jacket is by Coffee Shop. This is a size small and I know this is a, it's called pink. So um, a couple of things why I like this jacket. First of all, I know I have, I have too many jackets. I, I get that. I like this jacket because I don't have anything like this color and what I like about this color is I think that it pairs really well with things like jeans um, and goes a little bit more with the style of look that I wear in the summer. So anyway, a couple things to show you. It's got obviously these crazy like um, black liners around the zippers. Like when I first saw it, it seemed a little more intense than I wanted it to be but now that I'm wearing it it's really comfortable and I love the fact this hood is removable just like I recently got that um, denim hooded jacket I think that was in my last fix so um, yeah I really like it so this is what it looks like and I think it's gonna be great to throw on over a t-shirt with my jeans in the summer if it ever becomes summer let's see Okay, that's a kiss. All right. Okay, so.
so what I ended up keeping obviously were those three items and as I mentioned last time that was the last time I was able to style myself so the next unboxing video that I film will be my first unboxing styled by someone else in quite some time and I'm a little bit nervous so we will see but anyway thanks you guys for watching so much and um, hopefully I will be doing this again in 10 days or so